Mosul Dam, Amerli, Jufal Sakhir, Diyala Province, Wabera, and the list goes on. Though the two most strategic losses for ISO and Lisse have been the border gate towns of Sinjar and Zumar in Nineveh Province, this loss paved the way for the anti ISO forces' advance towards Mosul. They are currently 40 kilometers away from the heart of the city, and the terror group has begun to set fortifications in central Mosul to guard itself. At the backdrop of newer coordination between Erbil and Baghdad for an all-out offensive to retake the city, militants have also begun to relocate their positions from main streets into forest areas, making use of camouflage. Despite the imbalance between the number of anti-ISIL forces and that of the terrorists, we have managed to make advances on different fronts. This as the terror group is witnessing cracks inside its body. Earlier this month, ISIL executed over 20 of its militants in Tal Afar, charging them with treason. In the last couple of months, they have executed a number of their top commanders in Mosul as well. Kurdish officials in Arbil have also confirmed to Press TV the popular resentment towards the terror group is on the rise there. Meanwhile, in Arbil, leaders of Iraq's Sunni factions are set together in the Kurdish capital city to adopt a unified stance against ISIL takfiris. The Islamic Union of Kurdistan will also be taking part in this effort, which they say is aimed at saving Iraq from the current crisis. ISIL is the offspring of wrong policies in this region, U.S. policies as well as those of the former regime in Iraq. To uproot this threat, unity among all of the Iraqi groups is the key. Kurdish officials in Arbil have time and again stressed the need for a firm stance against ISIL by Iraq's Sunni leaders, especially before any battle, to liberate the predominantly Sunni city of Mosul. Altaf Ahmad Press TV, Arbil.